Hello, Brent with All Octane here. In this video, I'm going to open up some of the brand new Matchbox Sky Busters that I was able to find on the pegs. These things are actually really pretty sweet. Um, Matchbox makes some castings that uh, Maisto doesn't, so the Tailwinds, they don't make the Chinook. They also don't make a like P-51 Mustang, and they don't make a lot of helicopters. So Matchbox makes a ton of helicopters. I only picked up these two, but there are like four or five other ones. So first up, we've got the Chinook. And this isn't in like any uh, camo type livery, but it is in a pretty cool livery. And what I also like about these as well is that they come with like their own runway, as you can kind of see. So for the helicopters, you can have um, a helicopter landing pad. And yeah, it's really cool to see helicopters and add them to the collection. Because most of us who are diecast fan, I'm sure we like cars and planes and helicopters and boats and stuff like that. Uh, I love that. Look at that. Super cool. And great tampo work. It's got the orange uh, cabin. And then it's got, there we go, the runways. So if you line all of these up, you can actually um, make a pretty long runway. And I've got two or three of these now, and I'm about to have a whole lot more. So it'll be kind of fun, even though they'll all be kind of the same. It still could be a pretty long runway. So we'll see kind of how that ends up at the top here. Next up, we're gonna go with the MBX Crop Duster. And these planes, wow. If you live in rural areas that get to see these often, lucky you, the, the, the people, or if you do this, if you, if you are a pilot of one of these things, that's amazing, you've got talent. I like how they put it kind of like a Hawaii kind of thing. Oh, and they, they give you a helipad in this one? That's what we need for the Chinook. Okay, well, let's, let's park the Chinook over there and take a look at Crop Duster. And this doesn't quite seem like the Crop Dusters that I'm familiar with. I mean, it kind of does, but this is a lot of canopy for one. But they do, do have all the sprayers. There's no uh, articulation of the landing gear, so it's a fix. The prop is nice. It spins quite nicely. So, yeah. But yeah, the agility of these pilots to come so low, I, I find that really fascinating. It's a, it's a major talent. All right, we've got the MBX Bubble Copter. Now, this is very much kind of a Hawaii Five-O kind of feel, especially the old series. If you're familiar with the Hawaii Five-O old series from like the 70s, I want to say, maybe 60s, uh, that one has this kind of feel to it with this kind of background. And I'm guessing this is also a helipad. Okay, different though. Um, okay, yeah, this one's got a little bit more. All right, let's take a look at the helicopter. We've got Department of Global Security for MBX. Okay, interesting tampo work. Oh, it's got red on the blade. Oh, it's gray and black, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's a really cool effect. I like that, that's awesome. And the tail does not spin, but hey, we've got a tail, or we've got the, the main rotor spinning, and it's got a tampo that makes it look really cool like that. All right, let's keep moving. We're gonna go to the A10 Classic. Now, Tailwinds does make this, and I did pick that up not too long ago, but the A10, yeah, iconic plane. One of the best ground support planes in the world. I'm glad we're still flying it. I hope we can figure out how to keep it flying. Uh, it's plastic, a lot of plastic. Metal basically on the uh, underside. Not the best tampo works either, but I mean, for those who know, no, this thing is potent and it's kind of cool. So it's nice to add to the collection. And what did it come with? This, if this came with another helipad, okay, it came with a not runway. <laughs> All right, last up is the P-51 Mustang. And this one I think was done for the Maverick series. That's probably what they did it for. And now they can do more liveries with it. Oh, and it came with the stand. So let's go ahead and take a look. If it's runway is like the other runways. Okay, there we go. So now we can kind of connect those two. Not the best way of connecting, but it does kind of provide. It comes with the stand, and here it is. 
P51. Ah, that's cool. It's got the Flying Tiger kind of livery, which is nice. I'm trying to find a plane that can match the 55 gasser that Hot Wheels made. Captain 5A58. A58. 5858. That's a P51 Mustang, right? So what does the 5.8 have to do with anything? I have no idea. Maybe you guys can tell me. But let me know which one's your favorite in the comments below. Let me know if you guys like Matchbox Skybusters. And until the next one, have a good one.